That is a big, big hit. Instant impact. And he's celebrating his unique style. A monumental blow. And look at what it means to them. It's game eight of the CG United Super 50 Cup, and it's a big one. It is the two most successful sides in this competition. The 13-time winners, Trinidad and Tobago, against the nine-time winners, Guyana. Ball one, here we go. Was a square leg in place, but can't get to it, and it will be a first boundary for the Red Force. That's Evan Lewis for you. Can't be loose to him. As long as he misses your line and length, he's the type of player that will definitely execute his shots. Three extra cover. Should be a boundary for Otley, who's picking up where he left off in that hundred. It's a good start for the Red Force. End of three, 14 for none. Dominant, very dominant on that back foot through the offside. Needs no invitation. Back on his back foot very early, punching that one just in front of cover. He has to be very mindful here, Sinclair. Do not want to get him hot. Fine leg was up. It's a freebie for Otley, who needs no invitation to strike that to the boundary. On this sort of wicket, you can't be too short to both batters. The two batters are favor the leg side. Good to the offside, I might add, but really good to the leg side this will be runs second boundary scored in that fine leg region runs beginning to flow fielder there this time though and takes it a couple of boundaries off the short delivery but it works this time lewis goes There you have it. Set his feel. This time, Evan couldn't get it as fine as he wanted. Just could have only hit it straight to square leg. He's uh, gone. 16. 27 for one. Very fine again. It's been a prolific area of scoring for Otley early in this innings. Sweet. Very sweet. And I think it's gone all the way for six as well. First maximum of the innings. And a great way to end the sixth over. 42 for one. in front of square will go for four once more Utley pounces on another short delivery not much pace from Waterford and Kieran Utley fancies the pull shot not afraid to go for it struck it well Clipped over that fielder in mid on consecutive boundaries and a man in full control of his game, Otley. 10 from the over eight, gone 54 for one. Nicely played. Very good use of that sweep stroke. Didn't try to hit it too hard. He was aware that Tejaran Chandapol was deep backwards square and the angle was the right one from Otley. 
that was very well played. Got to the pitch a bit and just paddled it around. Way outside off stump. Otley drives. Might this be the 50? Are they going to come back for two? Yes. Well played, Kion Otley again. He may well be in the form of his life, you know. Backing up his highest score in this day cricket. 134 not out against the Winwoods in the last game. And he's got a half century today. Six fours, one six, just 52 balls. Cross a long way. That's a big slog sweep. It's high in the air. There's a man out there. What a catch. Good at catch. Moti. One left arm spinner to the other. He had to make a lot of ground up there. That's a big wicket. It's the big wicket of Keon Otley. Tempted into trying to hit that ball in that deep mid wicket area. It is the vacant area on the leg side. Stepped across to the offside. Played a big slog sweep and Gurukesh Moti sprinting to his left from long on. Takes an excellent running catch. Oh, that's a big wicket. We spoke about pressure. We spoke about patience. They remained patient. And eventually, it paid off. Got the wicket of Keon Otley. Gone for 52. A well-played 52. Trinidad and Tobago right first. Lose their second at 91. Oh, big drive. First up. Pierces the gap. Good to see you, Darren. Uh, he's not wasting any time, Darren Bravo. It's a pretty difficult shot to play against a left turn spinner who is pinning the ball into you. It wasn't a half volley by any means, so very good shot. And it just shows how good this pitch is. Yeah, man! That's the outside edge. Flirting with danger, previously playing back. Now it's uh, Kevin Sinclair. With a delivery that picks up the important wicket of Joshua De Silva. Good catch behind the stumps too from Imlak. Really well bowled. That drift again. Law as well. Joshua De Silva, he's gone. He's gone for 27. The score is now 114 for three. Sweep shot comes out from Dan Bravo, plays it to perfection, and then he shows his class as a left-hander. Clinical DG. Such a great playoff spin. Morty's really a good ball as well, but when it comes to Darren Bravo, it's equal to the task. Driven firmly through that cover region. It was over pitch. And Bravo, in his fluent style, picked up four. Where are the photographers? You will need to have them here when he's batting. Clinical. It's a lovely shot. He's so good to the offside, DG. Fine enough. Will race away for four. And it comes off the bat as confirmed by the umpire. Went hard length into the pitch and Bravo was ready for it. Clubbered through that midwicket region. It's nine, run, nine runs from one delivery there. Cricket can be so harsh at times. <laughs> went short into the to the wicket bravo was equal to the task he was ready to latch on to that one onto it very early as well time to, perfe to perfection by bravo the 50 partnership has also come up with these two tried to go for the Yorker but didn't quite pull it off and was hit away quite firmly and convincingly by Darren Bravo Two is the call 
and should get them as well. Will be a half century, a commanding half century for Darren Bravo. His 41st in list day cricket and third, sorry, correction, fourth at the Brian Lauer Cricket Academy. Appreciated by his teammates. What a grab. It flew to Savory. Went so quickly and Bravo is distraught. Good catch. And the change has brought upon the, the demise of Darwin Bravo. It was right in the hitting arc. Didn't find a gap. Good catch by Savory. And Rutherford celebrates. And that's the wicket the guy in the heart the Eagles were looking for. He was looking dangerous down in Bravo, but he has to go. He's gone for 51. The three down to Bega Red Force, 172 for four. Oh, yeah, definitely. Bit of movement away there. So tail into the right-hander. The movement away was that reverse maybe down the track edge first slip may well have been a business there but it's four runs i think yeah, got a bit lucky there out swing do a little bit too much for him Up and over the offside. It's not right out the screws. Plugs a little bit, but it's going to make it to the boundary. Good batting. That's where the space was. It was very decisive, Carrier. 188 for four. Just lifted at the last minute over extra cover. Got the length that he was after. Top edge, but it's not going to carry just to short fine leg. Has a go. I think he was in, and there's no one backing up. Where was the backing up there? No one moved at all, and they've got five. Oh, comedy of errors. Nothing is wrong with Shepard trying at the stump. Shepard Hetimaya was backing up the the bowler stump. Sheriff and Rutherford didn't move. Tried to get back to the stump. Can't really blame Shepard Hetimaya either. He's thrown himself into that and absolutely whacked that down the ground. Now's the time for Jason Mohammed. 200 up, 203 for four. Ask for it, Matt. Down the ground he go. There's the slog sweep. That's into the gap. Four runs. Don't want to say I'm a genius, Matt, but... Long way outside the off stump. That's drilled through cover. Back to back boundaries for Carrier. Runs all around the ground. That's not what you want as a skipper. The thing is about bowling. If you're getting hit, you need to get hit on the side you want to get hit, man. And again, up and over the offside. Long off's got a chance. Can't get there. Sinclair's angry with himself. Plays that shot well, though, Yannick Carrier. Just a few things that the guy in a heartbeat should look into. It's a good shot, good access to the ball as well. Giving himself room to access that offside of the field. Oh, has that carried? Link it has. He's picked out mid wicket. Jason Mohammed is livid with himself. 
It was a short delivery, it was there to get hit. But he just found the hands of Virasami Permol. There you have it. Slow nature of the wicket. That one pitch just outside off stump. Spinning away as well. To take a ball from that wide to play it on the leg side is always a risk. Because it wasn't that short as well. The wicket is up and down. Jason Mohammed, 26. The score is now 217 for five. Did he get hold of it? Nope. Good catch once more from Gurukesh Moti on the boundary line. Not enough power from Akil Hussein. He was searching for that maximum. And it's another wicket for the guy in the Harp Eagles. Yeah. Akil Hussein trying to hit that one over long on. Thought he could get enough to clear that long on fielder. He holds up quite easily. And it's another good catch on the boundary by Gurukesh Moti. His fielding has been exemplary all day. Aki Hossein goes for just seven. Trinidad right force, 2-2-9 two, two, for six. Quick single, quick single. You have to hurry. Throw was off a bit. But the square leg umpire needs help from the TV umpire. Carl Tuckett, the umpire at square leg. Imlak having to go to his right, collect the ball and come to his left. A lot of time in dislodging the bales has allowed the batter to get in. Gone for the big shot, Narayan with his power. That's muscled over lawn for six. Only the third one, or the second one, I beg your pardon, in the innings. Tossed up once more, but this time Narain is able to get under that delivery. It's a bit closer to him as well. He's able to clear that fielder quite easily and hit it into the stands. In and out. Firm strike from Carrier and Hetmeyer. Couldn't hold on, it had to stick. Chance, end of the over, five from it, 246 for six. Yeah, it was hit with lots of power, full toss. But you're right, Darren, those are the ones that have to stick. Good effort by Hetmeyer, but they would have been hoping that he could have held on. Him. Went with the hard length, finished on the stumps, which is so effective at the back end of an innings. And again, his quality as a fast bowler coming to the fore, getting rid of Narain. Almost looks as though he beat Narain for pace there. That ball not bouncing as high as Narain would have expected. Trying to pull that one square of the wicket. Unfortunately, he misses. Narain goes for just 12. Trained on Tobago right force, two four seven four seven. Nice straight shot. And it goes all the way for six. Brings up the 50 for Carrier. What a knock from the left-hander. His third in his list of career. What a way to bring up his half century carrier this one tossed up again from Gudukesh Moti what carrier did well there is he kept his shape didn't try to tug that leg side clip to the onside timed well enough to go into the boundary line one bounce four boundaries coming off the bat of Yannick Carrier and at the right time for the Red Force a change of length by Romario Shepard. In the last over, he went short at Yannick Carrier. This time, he chooses to go full. And it's whipped through the deep mid wicket area. That fielder at deep mid is a lot squarer.
Good angle on the blade of the bat from Terence Hines, just using the pace. And four more. Very clever from Terence Hines. But Mario Shepard going for the Yorker. Narrowly missed it, but it's really good awareness by Terence Hines. Realizing the fielder behind square on the offside was in the circle. And he gets that pass in for a boundary. He is handy with the bat, Terence Hines. Right, is this a wicket? Man settles, Hetmeyer, the fielder, and completes the catch. So, another wicket for Guyana Harpy Eagles, that of Terence Hines. And more importantly, a dot delivery, the first in the over. Another wicket for sure, Finn Rutherford. He's had a job to do because Nell Smith has been struggling, and it's a slower delivery. Bit fuller, but wide enough, asking Terence Sainz to fetch it and hit it into that shorter boundary on the leg side. He finds the safest man in the outfield, Shamran Hetmeyer. He goes for 11 of 10 deliveries. Trinidad and Tobago right for us, 279 for eight. That six sounded sweet. Looked a really good strike from Carrier. And he motors on. Wow, that's impressive. That's exactly the reason Jaden Seals just had to get this man on strike. He's striking them like a top part of the batter. Last ball of the innings. And it's slapped offside in the gap, and it will be four. So a flourish to end the innings, an expensive over conceded by Rutherford. 15 coming from it. And Carrier ends unbeaten on 71, leading his side to 290 for eight. Rutherford unable to contain the left-hander, who from the start of his innings looked so impressive and finished the hero with the bat for the Red Force. Outside edge found. Goes into the gap, soft hands from Tejaran Chandapal, gets him four. Say through the gate, and Tejaran Chandapal seemed to be expecting that one to shape back into him. This occasion, though, it just hit the seam and left him slightly. Screwed him up on the way through as well. Cut away. Long enough for six. Flair and flamboyance from Chandapal Hemraj. Spoke about how quickly Hemraj is able to assess conditions. That ball short and wide. Short enough, allowing Hemraj to get his hands under it to hit it up and over that point fielder. And it goes way beyond the boundary for the first maximum. Pierces the gap, and he will get four. So Tej Narayan Chandapal gets going with a boundary and a little more fluency to his innings. Pitched up by Gabriel on this occasion. He allows the ball to come under his eyes and pierces that gap quite easily. So well played by Chandapal. And he cuts it. Gets just enough width on that one. And a consecutive boundary for Tejan and Chandapal. Strengthen the offside right force. But that one is just too wide. And it allows Chandapal to hit it square of the wicket. So nowhere close to where that fielder was positioned. He just leans back ever so slightly so he can hit it square of the wicket. Uppercuts it. Quite intentional. Good choice in stroke from Chandapal, recognizing the extra bounce and pace on that delivery. Three fours in a row. Playing with the field, Tejan Ryan Chandapal. Deep point employed, and this time he goes over the slip. Using the pace of Shannon Gabriel once more. It's an uppercut over the fielders that slip into the vacant third man area. That's close. That gets the support of the umpire, Carl Tuckett. 
without hesitating, raises that dreaded finger. And it was this set of repeal by Jaden Seals. He knew he has had his mind pitched up. Again, shaping the way. Tej Narinsha and the pole seem to be looking for that one swing and back into him. Played down the wrong lane completely. And he struck the ball. Seemed as though it would have crashed into off stump. He goes for a quick fire 19 from 12 deliveries. Harpy Eagles lose their first at 29. That's gone fine. Shannon Gabriel doesn't move. Look at that. At all. Like a statue there at short fine leg. I don't think he would have stopped it anyway. Very nicely played. Pure timing that. Just threw his hands at that hemorrhage. Didn't try to hit it too hard at all. Beautifully played. All timing and the placement was superb. Catch it. In the air, taken. Evan Lewis moving to his right at mid-off. Emraj trying to go up and over off the back foot, which is never easy, and he's holed out. Catch it. It wasn't the best of shots from Hemraj. Tried to go high over mid-off. Only picked out Evan Lewis. He's gone for 21. The guy in a happy Eagles, 60 for two. Through the gap. That's going to be a boundary for Tevin Imlak, who started well here. Second four for him. It wasn't all that short a delivery, but he played it extremely well. Waited on it, picked his spot, and got it through. It. It's gone high, very high, and I think long enough. Yeah, just long enough. Into the wind as well. Impressive by Hetmeyer. As I've expected. Akil Hussein. Spin back that ball to Hetmeyer. And he would not sit a wrong. Advancing down the crease over mid wicket. Lovely shot. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Yeah. Got it a tangle. <laughs> Finger goes up. It's the big wicket, and it's of course the Rhine who gets it. Finally, the Red Force breakthrough. What was that? <laughs> Caught in two minds there. Reverse and then conventional. Come on, Imlak. That's not. You've been going well with your senior talisman, Shimron Hetmeyer. He's gone. 26 of 35 balls. The score is now 98 for three. Nick Tangon, Terence Hines celebrates, and that is a huge wicket. As I mentioned earlier, Terence Hines is an underrated player, but he's such a good player. He just, just do his do. Hines, good celebration as well. Sherman hit Meyer 24 of 29 balls. The score is now 100 for four. Picked up. And that's going to run away to the boundary. Loose delivery to finish with behind. Shame. It spoiled a good over. 110 for four. It's cut hard. That's going to be four runs. 
just gave Sinclair width once too often. Thrown everything into that, and he's muscled it to the boundary. Seemed like it hit quite high up on the bat, not near the middle, but he's a powerful man. And evidence of his strength as a player, that ability to pick short deliveries and pounce on it. Glorious cover drive. That was a long half folly, and it was dispatched by Rutherford. And done with relative ease, a sumptuous looking drive from the left hander. Love a lefty, as is often said. He's gone up on purpose there, he's gone a long way back. Just helped it on its way, used the pace behind square. Magnificent. Terrific stroke from Shafin Rutherford. He hasn't been scoring in singles. But the great thing about this effort so far, he's been able to pounce on bad deliveries. Shannon Gabriel going too short with little pace. Allowed enough time for Rutherford to go under and out of the ground. What about that for a response? Switch hit all the way for six. This game is on. What a stroke that was. Rutherford is on fire. Trying to say to Karaya. I am going to take you out of this attack. That was beautifully played. Not often I see a switch it for six. It's gone straight up. This could be the wicket. And almost put down, but Gabriel holds on and Carrier. It's been a stunning day for him. Try to switch hit once too often. Held out to Gabriel on the second attempt. And that's the wicket. The Trinidad and Tobago Red Force were looking for. He was looking dangerous. Trafford Rutherford. And a rush of blood right after the drinks break. Why did he do that? Was that necessary? I'll say no. It's amazing how the field can influence about his decision. Only long off was deep on that offside boundary. Rutherford saw an opportunity, couldn't take it. Gone for 30, 145 for five. That's a bravo. Samson off the mark. Well, what a way to get off the mark in your professional career with a boundary. A little bit too short that time from career. And with the slow nature of the pitch. Samson had enough time to plunder it over extra cover for four. Catch a treat. Oh, of course. Put know. down. Carrier, who's been involved in everything. Bat ball now in the field. Yeah, Shuck it hard, though, Samson. Would have been a great catch. Struck it well. <laughs> and Carrier. Oh, stretched way to his right, couldn't hold on. Get it, get it, bravo, bravo. Could have another one. Yeah. Bravo completes the catch. And his carrier again. Golden arm. He's been in everything today. That was a fine catch. Was going away from him. Darren Bravo, the skipper, made good ground, kept his eyes on it and took a great catch in the end. That man career. Oh dear, oh dear. The, the celebration will have to end. Hines a mere spectator, and this is why Samson was brought into the team for this power hitting ability. Certainly capitalized on that free hit. Struck it well. The fielder at the long on position. Yeah. 
This time, he should be gone. And Carrier strikes back again. Didn't cause them that much. And of course, the umpires will check for that front foot. Not even close this time. He made sure of it. Good, easy catch by Sunil Narayan at first slip. And he celebrates Yannick Carrier. He deserved that wicket. Quentin Sampson's short stay has come to an end. He's gone for 13. Guyana Harp Eagles, 160 for six. Big shot, skewed off the outside edge. Is it a chance? No, just over the head of Jason Mohammed. Lucky. Another miscue. This one, though, straight to long off. Guyana here, falling in a bit of a heap. TNT spinners doing the job. Yeah, you can just tell from the celebrations that they think they've gotten the game now. They've dismissed Romario Shepard, who wants more tries to hit the ball against the turn. Just checking for that front foot. It's illegal delivery. Wants more Shepard. El Avais goes against the turn. And it's easily held at long off by Keon Otley. Shepard goes with little impact, just four runs. Guyana Harpy Eagles 168 for seven. How is that one? Given. That's out. Hit him on the full. Sinclair doesn't like it. But it was certainly one to be debated. Yeah, he's just missed a full delivery. Hit right on the tour. Oh, Sinclair perhaps thinking that was drifting down leg. Given the dreaded finger of Arthur Leslie Reefer Jr. is raised. Sinclair goes for a very watchful 20 from 48 deliveries he tried. Unfortunately, he's dismissed. And wants more to Yannick Carrier. Going to Harpy Eagles, 169 for eight. Oh, yeah! He's bowled, chopped on, and that is five for Yannick Carrier. He is having a day out, runs with the bat, and now a five-wicket haul. He's having a dream night here at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. And it's a first baller for viewer Sammy Pramal. Yeah. Oh, takes the inside edge and onto the middle stump. Uh, joy for Yannick Carrier. Your Sammy Pramal can make no impact. Then Harvey Eagles lose another 169 for nine. Moti goes up and over the offside, hits it well for four. He's not going to hang around. He thrives in situations like this, Moti. Oh, that's wonderfully played. Yeah! Edged and gone. Moti turns and it's all over. Big collapse by Guyana to finish the game. They were 145 for four, 176 all out. Trinidad and Tobago have now won 15 of their last 17 against Guyana in List A cricket. Guyana Amazon Warriors beat the Trinbago Knight Riders in the CPL, but in 50 over cricket, Trinidad and Tobago very much top dogs of these two. Yeah. Sunil Narine finishing the job for his side, a second wicket for him and richly deserved. That was a very, very impressive performance with bat and ball. It's all looking rosy in TNT's garden at the moment. Guyana, well, they just haven't been at their best in the first two games. They won against the Windward Islands, but today, look at that. Look at how many starts they got.
The top seven all getting to double figures. 30 was the top score. That tells a real story, doesn't it? Just needed one or two of those guys to go on. In the end, the innings lasts just 33.4 overs. All right, first bowlers. One wicket for Seals, one for Hossein, one for Terence Haynes, two for Sunil Narain. But it was all about Yannick Carrier, introduced into the attack in the 23rd over. And he took five wickets for 34 in just six overs. And he is the one that really preempted that collapse. They lost six for 31 runs, the Harpy Eagles. And it was a total team effort by that right force bowling lineup. Team effort. But uh, overall, you'd say the carrier living up to his name, carrying his team today. A brilliant all round performance. 290 for eight, the TNT Red Force. And they've bowled out the Guyana Harpy Eagles for 176. That is a big, big win by 114 runs.